School authorities are contemplating closing down some basic schools in the Tolon district due to lack of furniture. School authorities have argued the space at which parents are withdrawing their children leaves them with no option. Poor educational infrastructure, the bane of the Tolon district. In pain, they go through lessons. Many have been in this condition for years, but nothing has changed. The district has 79 kindergartens and primary schools, 26 junior high schools and two senior high schools. Nyangpala, the largest community, has 18 primary schools and six junior high schools. Islamia Primary School is one of the schools that lacks furniture. The last time the school received furniture was in 2016. However, it was woefully inadequate for even one class. It reduces our enrollment. Year in, year out, we get our enrollment being reduced. Parents prefer their children trekking 30 kilometers from Nyangpala to Tamale than to sit in classrooms without furniture. When they come to school like this, before they close, all, of, uh, all their uniforms are going to be dirty. The Nyangpala DA Block A and B primary schools have similar story to tell. Classes have maximum of two chairs. Worried teachers say calls on a PTA to help have yielded no result. We've been on this situation for more than four, uh, four years. More than four years. We've been requesting for furniture. We even wrote so many letters to the office, assemble, even to invited the parents. The district education director says several letters have been written to appeal for support. The question of lack of furniture is becoming a very serious threat that is undermining the efforts by government and other stakeholders to provide quality education to uh, the people within Tolong here. The district assembly admitted the over 6,000 furniture deficit. The assembly, however, said through the GNPC and the NP, over 2,000 dual decks have been supplied basic schools since 2017. You see children who are eager to learn, but they had to lie on their belly. How are they even going to come out with even a nice handwriting? She is optimistic the furniture and infrastructure deficit will drastically reduce before the end of 2020. And that's all for Mission this evening. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida UK Aid and the EU.